which I'll be talking is called the Gibbs paradox. This is very important in statistical thermodynamics. So, okay, so we got entropy is equal to um, n k ln q plus e by t. This we got before. And for this uh, monoatomic gas system, if I put uh, back the value of q, I can simply write is write entropy as n k ln 2 pi m k t divided by h square to the power 3 by 2 and volume plus e is 3 by 2 n k p t. So, therefore, 3 by 2 n k t divided by t. So, which is n k ln 2 pi m k t divided by h square 3 by 2 volume plus 3 by 2 n k. This is the entropy uh, for the monoatomic gas system. Now, as all of you know that entropy is an extensive quantity. So, what is the definition of extensive quantity? Uh, is that if you increase the volume or number of moles of the system, uh, the extensive property also doubles up. Whereas, intensive quantity like density, it does not change. Even though you increase the volume to double, the density of the system will remain the same. And as you know, uh, entropy S is an extensive quantity. So, if I increase if I increase the volume of the system to 2 V, if I increase the number of particles of the system from n to 2 n, my entropy S should reach to 2 S. Right? So, since entropy is an extensive quantity, let us see whether this expression of entropy what we get for the monoatomic gas system is holding this or it is breaking. Okay, so, let us, uh, let, let us first see what happens to the energy. So, the energy of the system um, let us say E prime is the new energy after we uh, increase the number of moles, number of particles and the volume to double. So, uh, uh, at new energy E prime would be 3 by 2 my uh, uh, n has now become 2 n and k t. So, therefore, uh, it has become uh, 3 by 2 n k t cross 2. So, 2 e. So, e was my total energy before and e prime is my next uh, new energy after I uh, made the system double. So, this is valid that um, energy is also an extensive quantity. So, this quantity has doubled up when I increase the volume and the mole. What happens to the entropy? So, let us say S prime is my new entropy after I increase the volume and the particle number. So, then my uh, it was uh, is uh, so it has become 2 n number of particles 2 n uh, k t ln we have 2 pi m k t h square 3 by 2 my volume also has now become 2 v plus uh, 3 by 2 
here particle again become 2n and k. So, if I take 2 out, so I get 2 n k ln 2 pi m k t h square 3 by 2 volume plus 3 by 2 n k. Not just that, we also get another term as 2 n k ln 2 from from this expression because here we have 2 v and here um, we have 2 n. So, this 2 we have brought out of this bracket, but because we have 2 here, so we got ln 2. So, you got 2 n k ln 2 here. So, if you look at this term, this is nothing but my previous entropy S. So, now my new entropy X, S prime is not is actually 2 S not just 2 S, but it also has a it also has an extra term 2 n k uh, sorry 2 n k ln 2. So, my S prime instead of becoming just 2 S, it also has an extra term and this is called the Gibbs paradox. So, before what is the meaning of Gibbs paradox is that before Gibbs pointed this out, whatever expressions we had used for uh, q uh, and uh, mainly q the partition function uh, was uh, based on that definition of q. And when Gibbs pointed this out that entropy which is an extensive quantity is not fulfilling this even for a simple monoatomic gas. So, then scientists had to uh, think that uh, the definition of q has some problem and what could be the origin? The origin if you remember uh, we, we basically started from the definition of thermodynamic probability w. We started from thermodynamic probability definition w is equal to n factorial divided by n 1 factorial n 2 factorial n 3 factorial. So, Gibbs said that there is a problem in that definition of thermodynamic probability and we and the problem is uh, as you remember thermodynamic probability basically gives a number of microstates. So, Gibbs said that there is a problem in counting the number of microstates. We are basically over counting and how we are over counting? We are over counting by assuming the particles are distinguishable. If you recall that that definition of thermodynamic probability w n, n factorial divided by n 1 factorial, n 2 factorial, n 3 factorial and so on and so forth, it was fulfilling um, the particular uh, macro state uh, and it was giving the right number of microstate for each macrostate and to get that we assume that particles are distinguishable, but in practice particles in a quantum system or in a classical system they are completely indistinguishable and there is the problem Gibbs pointed out that since particles are uh, not distinguishable, we over counted them and because of that over counting there was a problem uh, in the definition of q and that is where we get this, uh, 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 this paradox that entropy uh, is not showing as an extensive property. So, we have to now find out 
the actual the correct definition of thermodynamic probability w which you'll see next